Firstly, I'd like to wish you all a Shana Tova and hope you had a really meaningful series of Chagim in Tishrei. Of course, also for this week, a Shabbat Shalom as well. Now, we've had a few instances recently on campus which create difficulties for Jewish students uh, in their connection to Israel. Only a few months ago, Ami Ayalon came and spoke at King's College, at which point there was a very strong and dangerous protest uh, of anti-Israeli demonstrators at that meeting, causing the meeting itself to be abandoned. Only this week at UCL, an Israeli activist was brought in to speak, and there was a very difficult, again, and threatening pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel demonstration. The Labour Party itself has clear difficulties in its acceptance of the State of Israel, which itself has caused um, and is a, a difficulty for much anti-Semitism which is being revealed within the Labour Party and, of course, within its leadership. And generally in society, after talking to members of my community, you can see widespread undermining of the State of Israel in our society today. And so as a community war a rabbi, this is something that worries me greatly. And it worries also because our teenagers, our young, have little knowledge about the history of our beloved State of Israel. And the reason they have this knowledge, this problem of knowledge, this lack of knowledge, is because they have no context. We need to give them context. We need to teach and educate our young about the basic facts and the basic context of the history of Medinat Israel, the State of Israel. This year is 5777, 100 years since the Balfour Declaration and 50 years since the Six Day War. In our communities, how many of our teenagers know what the Balfour Declaration is? How many even know many facts at all about the Six Day War? in June 1967. So I would like to put here five points towards a program, a process, a discussion around educating our teenagers. I know I'm not the first, but as a rabbi of a community that is orthodox, believes in the state of Israel, the land of Israel, it's something that we need to be passionate about. Firstly, we need a program for our teenagers that teaches the facts. It could be called 17 to 17, from Balfour until today. It would contextualize with Herzl and the Zionist Congresses, talk about how important the Balfour Declaration was for Zionism and for where we are today. Secondly, as an Orthodox rabbi, religious connection to the land and religious connection to the entire land is key. But we should not let this love for the entire land of Israel stop us educating and discussing the possibility of other sovereignties and, of course, Palestinian sovereignty in the land of Israel. I've often talked in sermons about the difference between Eretz Israel, which is an eternal Jewish concept, and Medinat Israel, our modern state of Israel. The great Rav Amital, Zacht Zatzal, Zecher Tzadik Livracha, mentioned on a number of occasions the importance of Jewish sovereignty in the land of Israel and not necessarily filling out the whole borders that we have of the biblical land of Israel. This is a discussion. There are different views, but we need to have that discussion as well. Thirdly, we need an interactive approach that gets teenagers role-playing political and cultural roles in Israel. I remember teaching a program here in Muswell Hill when I got a number of kids to play a negotiation game, a mock negotiation between Fatah and Hamas on one side and a coalition of Likud and Labour on the other. And it was great to see the different views, the pure views of teenagers learning to understand what it means to live in the State of Israel. My fourth point is that we need to be able to educate around how Israel, the State of Israel, is not 
and never was perfect, and not romanticize Israel's political and cultural leadership. I find it easier to attack the boycotters and the delegitimizers of Israel when we admit fallibility, although contextualize that fallibility in that most, if not all states, by definition, are not perfect. And fifth, we need to find a way to discuss the possibility of criticizing Israel and educate that the government and the land or the state of Israel are separate. There is the land of Israel, which to us is holy, and there is a state which might get things wrong. And even although we will stand up for the state of Israel, even although we will stand up for what that means for us as a people, we're able to call out behaviours and actions that we feel are problematic. And so those are five points for discussion. But bottom line, we need to get involved in greater education of our teenagers. Get into discussions with them so that when they turn on their computers, on look on YouTube, see through social media, or maybe on the television, and when they see the difficulties of what the media projects about Israel, the criticisms and the delegitimizations of Israel, they will know and they will be able to come back with a reasoned, rational and positive support of the State of Israel. This year, in 5777, with some really important centuries, that is a challenge for us all. Shabbat Shalom.